How you doing? I'm Bo Jackson. Hi, I'm Wayne Gretzky. And we're, and we're the, the Pro Stars. Stars. Kids, today's episode is wow. There's no way machines can play sports. Why not? They build cars. I never thought of that. Twelve Rose, looks like we've got trouble. It's game time. Gretzky has to get some away and counters with a slap shot. Bo fouls it off and ah. off a home run swing. Mm. Oh, this is exciting. Ah. 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 I got you now, Bo. Ah. Ah. All stars. Hey, chill the sparring, guys. It's Mom. Oh, hi there, Mom. Boyes, believe me, it hurts me to say this, but you're getting sloppy. Watch out, Bo! There, you see? Your reflexes have gone stinky poo poo. Oh, come on, Mom. Bo knows reflexes, but even Jerry Rice couldn't have caught that one. Oh, I don't care if Jerry Cucumber couldn't have caught it. You are a pro star, and a pro star always makes the play. That's why I'm going along on the next mission, which, by the way, is quite a humdinger. Uh, Mom, statistically speaking, you are far too valuable to put at risk in the field. <laughs> I know you boys think of me as a frail flower of a woman with the patience of a saint. But, please, excuse me a minute, boys. What do you think? Of course it's my ball, so give it back. <laughs> now, where was I? Frail flower of a woman, patience of a saint. Ah, yeah, but even so, on the next mission, I'm going! But, Mom, I caught the ball this time. You really don't need to come. Hey! Oi, babe! I have to make sure you boys are a top bomb. Uh, Mom, speaking of the mission, what exactly did you mean when you said the next one's going to be a humdinger? Take a look at the video disc so you can see for yourself. Hello, pro stars. <laughs> I am Dr. Loeb. Whoa, check out that dude's forehead. Yes, I do have a fully developed cranium, don't I? How do you know you were going to say that? <laughs> it's packed full of brains, gray, gooey matter. <laughs> That's how. Which I've used to create the world's ultimate robots. Actually, they're smarter and more powerful than people and robots combined. I call them purbots. So what's all this got to do with us? Oh, 
Oh, I'll tell you what this has to do with you. I'm proposing a little competition. A personal Olympics, if you will. At my Perbots versus the Pro Stars. Just watch it. Why should you come to my little Olympics? <laughs> That's the next logical question, isn't it? Uh-huh. This is what makes me think that you'll accept my invitation. Meet Jill, better known as my innocent hostage. Don't come, Pro Stars. It's a trap. <laughs> of course it's a trap. It wouldn't be much of a villain if it weren't. But I know you'll come anyway, because you Pro Stars are the world's ultimate athletic good guys. On the other hand, once my Perbots have defeated you, everyone will know that they are the best. You won't get away with this, Loeb. That's Dr. Loeb to you. And of course, I'll get away with this because my Perbots are invincible. Opening ceremonies are at 9 a.m. sharp at the Chrome Coliseum. The address is on the disc. Oh, remember? No funny stuff. That guy's crazy. Okie dokie, boys. Let's get while the good is going. First, I believe we could use some augmentation to our famous motor skills. Huh? It's, uh, gadget time, Wayne. Why didn't he say so? You shouldn't worry. Since I'm coming along, I had the Nizzle pack a nice big duffel bag full of the latest Googles. Here. <laughs> Call me if she can't remember which gadget's which. <laughs>